Hi there, my name is Derek Pittman and this is Lawrence Shaw. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna be taking you on a journey behind the scenes of Time Team. We're joining Time Team for the next two digs as part of a team, but also showing you some insights as to what goes on behind the scenes. The Jam and Going Underground, BBC Radio Solo live across Dorset with me, Steve Harris. Have to wish good luck to a couple of people listening this morning, Lawrence Shaw and Derek Pittman, <laughs> Dorset archaeologists, presenters of the Career in Ruins awesome. podcast, yes. who are heading off to an archaeological dig today, not just any archaeological dig, the first Time Team dig in seven years. Remember Time Team, huge deal what was on TV in the two decades up to 2014. It's been a massive hit online recently as well. One and a half million people every month tuning in to watch Time Team classics on YouTube from 41 different countries worldwide. They did this uh, yes, crowdfund on Patreon <laughs> late last year oh, to well, fund future digs. Amazing. And they're off on their first one today. Other experts involved as well, Carenza, Lewis, Stuart Ainsworth, Helen Geek, you name it, but our local boys are Lawrence and Derek, good luck to them, this seems appropriate, the Mock Turtles, can you dig it? <laughs> We're on the site. Four hours. And I know, uh, not too bad. No. It's amazing to see so many old friends getting back together. It's, mm. it's something I'm really enjoying. Being quite sentimental. Yeah, but also welcoming us in. Yeah, yeah. Really there's, there's an air of excitement. Yeah. I don't know, we can't make any spoilers about what's coming on the site we're on, but my word, the archaeology <laughs> is staggering. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, like, if I could avoid doing any filming and just dig a hole, I would. <laughs> Every, it's fair to say everyone's walking around with a Cheshire, Cheshire cat yeah, yeah. I'm just very excited it about, is. just behind the camera there. I know, I know, some, pure archaeology gold. All right, Matt. Morning, morning, look. Hey. My grandfather's shovel. The cavalry's arrived. Look at that, yeah. Van Helen, you right? Yes, thank you. Good. Um, like Director James, Hello. friends, Lewis, all, everyone's favourite Time Team member. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, it's quite hectic, you know, but it's, there's a lot to do. So there's always that, that sort of real sort of panic at the beginning, or, you know, it's, all right, let's not call it a panic. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> let's but, call it organisation. Yeah, so. yeah. And clearly just so much going on here in the fields, you know. I, I can't wait to break the ground. It's going to be great. Who's this? Morning, TV's John, John Gator. <laughs> Think I think we're going to find a Roman villa. Roman, Roman villa. Oh, uh, sorry, that's the next shoot. <laughs> Useful as ever, John. Thank you. There's trouble. You hold it the right way up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Always dig with the sharp end or blood sharp end, wasn't it? That's what Phil told me. Yeah, you're learning. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's thrilling, just kind of beginning to get a sense of, from the geophys, you know that there's stuff there, but then beginning to get a sense of what it might be, actually seeing those finds come out of the ground, it's really, it's quite something, it's nothing like it. Most of my history is actually done through books. Right. You know, it's through kind of, I mean, a lot of it I'm constructing myself through materials, but usually it is many stages removed from the actuality and it is just glorious to get out and actually see history being uncovered in real time yeah. actually kind of pulled up from the soil and then being 
using that material to reconstruct that narrative in real time is just it's just glorious. We spotted a host. Natalie. We've just seen you doing your a bit of excavating. Yeah, with my trowel. <gasps> with your, your trowel. trowel. With my time. <laughs> You've got a time team. I'm so trowel glad on that happened in what? synchronicity. <laughs> Look at that. It's Can been already that? described as elite level. They're that. numbered. What? If you press the button on the end, does it go bum 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 bum? No. <laughs> I mean, yes, but not not where we can hear it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. In a different place. What an epic trial that is. Thanks. How was the digging? It was really good. I was useless, but I tried really hard, and I think that's the important that's thing. That's the spirit. That's yeah. what we're doing. That's our approach to yeah. everything. And then um, when we got to the end, which, in fairness to me, I had been doing an interview at the same time, but I had sort of tried, I mean, not my absolute hardest, but quite hard. Um, I asked Ivan uh, if I'd done 10% of what he would have done at the time, and he said, no. And I said, <laughs> I was on 5%, and he went, and I went, two? And he That's went, a... and I went, one? And he went, you've helped. Oh, <laughs> crushingly on it. <laughs> we need to go and talk to Ivan. Yeah. People always say, oh, what, what are you doing washing soil? It, it's not about washing the soil. I prefer to call it excavating with water. Excavating with water, that's an incredible term. Like um, because you can't see everything yeah, when you're digging yeah. by eyes. Recording in progress. All right, so we've got 40 minutes, that's fine. <laughs> Start video. Ah, yay! Whoa, <laughs> nice t-shirt. Hey, Bridget. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Good. Sorry, matching to you. Oh, I didn't get a memo. <laughs> We've got two amazing hosts. We've got Gus, Gus and Natalie. Natalie. Mm. Oh, uh, I think we're about to get joined by the hosts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they might be starting the first recording, the yeah. intro scene for the whole. Okay. Episode. Yeah. So we've we've just been zoom bombed. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, come, come on, come in, in, come on in, come say hello to Bridget and Ray Sad. We're just zooming in New Zealand. Zealand. Come in, come oh, I'm just about to do it. That's, that's fine. That's thing, fine. This is all good. So this is. Uh, hey, lovely to meet you. I'm so, Gus. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can put a spade in the ground here and you can find absolutely anything. I found a, a piece of Jabroic um, pot. I can think. I pick it up? You can. Thank you. Uh, Jabroic pottery, so that's. Could be 4000 BC. What? Could be. These guys are tremendously blase about it. <laughs> really? <laughs> they, find, they find oodles of that stuff, but it's my first Your place first ever. Find. Your first find? Yeah. I'm my first find of... Yeah. That one. Well so done. I'm, I'm over the moon, to be honest. Amazing. Oh, well, that's... Well, congratulations. Fantastic. What first find? Yeah, I said it. No, no I, I am not. I am not bringing it down so any I mean, more than that. Like, saying yeah, that you're yeah, gonna, yeah. we're gonna find one piece of Iron Age pot. Seems like you're sitting <laughs> no, on the no, fence. A saying, whole, a whole pot. A whole vessel. I actually think that if we get down to that side of the hill, I think we're gonna find something really quite remarkable about the settlement on that side. Settlement. Hi patrons, thank you so much for your support. 
we wouldn't be able to do any of this without support of people like you on Patreon. So thank you very much for supporting Time Team and I'm glad you've enjoyed it. We've got loads going on on this site at the moment and I know you're really desperate to find out more. Somewhere in there is that little bit of Time Team magic and it couldn't have happened uh, without the support we've had from the guys on Patreon. You're all legends. And we've got a choice of four trenches for you to choose from. So the choice is yours. Get voting. They want us to put a GoPro on uh, camera for the Time Team patrons who have voted for their favourite trench. God, it's hard, isn't it? Well, that's a view. Morning, mate. Morning, mate. How you doing? Yeah, good. You ready and raring to go? I've got one boot on, one boot off. There. Chop chop, we've got work to do. <laughs> the site's just opening up. It's day two. It's a really important day on Time Team. I think of it as a moving day, which I think is a golfing expression. It means this is the day where the whole shoot could change in one direction or the other. It's pretty intense. There seems to be lots going on today, whereas yesterday morning it's quite a slow burner. I think today there's like something there, something there, something there. And it's... But as usual on day two, you never know what's going to happen until the end of the day. I'm basically recording the edge of the trench. Quite often the trench either moves or extends or something changes. Yeah. Or, or, so I'm, I'm basically mapping what's really there on the ground. <laughs> oh, I think this one's going to be good. Actually. Yeah. We're just coming down onto what? Oh, well, no spoilers. Well, just coming down okay, onto Okay, onto some soil. archaeology. Ah, ah okay. good, good, yeah, good. Yeah. good. No spoilers. No spoilers. I know we've just sent you away, but we're calling you back. Come and look at this. Oh, yeah. Fresh from the ground. How but, uh, exciting. Yeah. How cool is that? That's great. We'll come back and we'll, we'll find out all the other goodies that you've got as well. Absolutely. Keep up the good work, guys. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, th I think we're going to ask Natalie to research the Hydra, which I think was a monster. When you cut off its one head, it then sprouted another seven. Because <laughs> yeah. I think that's how our questions are going at the moment. <laughs> we start off with one in a trench, and by the time we've done anything in the trench and cut the surface, we've got another seven questions. Yeah, there's this huge amount of resting on it, yeah, because yeah, if, yeah, there's a, particularly you've got to make sure the trench is in the right place for a start. Is this I think the trench that Henry put in the wrong so place? This is it. It's not <laughs> we're hearing bad things about trench two. Yeah, no one seems to respect it. Yeah. Any, uh, any bad mouthing or suggestions about the other trenches, why this trench is the best trench and those trenches are the worst. You've come to stir the barrel, have you? <laughs> is that what's going about, on there? I don't know what you're talking about. Is there always a trench over here? <laughs> there was one. <laughs> we are just trying to plan the, the strategy for the last day because we've got a lot going on. You just never know. You've got to check it sometimes. You can't resist it. I've said it before, the bucket list archaeology to work on a site as glorious as this. It's incredible. Always um, expect the unexpected here. It's absolutely brilliant that we've got what we've got out of a whole range of historical periods, which is extraordinary. And my goodness, we got some great results at the end, which I hope you will love to see in the film when it comes out. Alex, Alex, look at this. Do you remember at the beginning uh -huh. yeah. what I was asking for? Yeah. I was thinking yeah. Uh -oh. This might be it. <laughs> so it's been a thrilling morning, actually. And I think we've got something rather remarkable. Can, can you give us a detail? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I think we'll have answered quite a few questions. Uh, but not all of them. Oh. You know, we'll be left with mysteries. Well, the big question is, we originally put a trench in there. We thought it was... No spoilers. And in the middle, we've just discovered something you'll have to watch the program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> it's almost like he's a pro. <laughs> Things to do with possibly... Oh... <laughs> Thank you.
you made it happen. And I'd like to thank you all very much for that. And I think you'll be rather delighted by the results. The possibilities are enormous. Yeah. It's thrilling. Oh, it's exciting. exciting.